Hello and welcome to video two of module 13. All right, so let's continue. We left off where we uh, connected all the devices to the switch. Just remember to connect them to the first six ports. It doesn't matter which one you really connect them to because they are all on the same VLAN. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to power the lightweight access points. So double click on them and grab the power adapter and stick it right into this hole and let go. Oops. Now it has power. All right, let's do the same thing to the second and the third. Nope. And they, oops, I'm going to get it right. There you go. And let's do the same thing to the third. And let go. There you go. All right. Now that they are all powered, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to verify that the laptop got an IP address from that DHCP server, this guy right here. So we're going to go in here. And he did 10.100. So I don't even have to toggle. That's good. Bingo. You could type IP config if you wanted to, but you did. So open the browser now. So we're going to open the browser and we are going to see if we can get into our wireless controller and start doing our configuration. All right. Remember, we gave it the dot two address. So let's type in 192.168.10.2 and we hit enter. Now, when it says server reset, that means it's already been configured. Now they want you to go in through secured connection using HTTPS. So just write in here an S. And now the configuration, now you're in the router, in the wireless LAN controller, in a secured 802, I'm sorry, in the, using SSL. All right, so um, click on login. Now our pass, our you got admin, remember that? And the password, we wrote it as Cisco with capital C. You remember we configured it, right? And there you go, we are in. So let me just make, and as you can see, we have one port that is connected, zero two, I guess must have connected it, not to, zero, not to one. It doesn't matter. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't matter which port we connected it to, but I've connected to. These are power over Ethernet, by the way, which is really nice. That means it will power the access points for us. Right? That would be nice to have. Anyway, but that's okay. So we powered them anyway. All right. So the next thing we are going to you do is when we is from the menu bar, we are going to click on wireless in here and you can see all the ap's are in there okay i gotta move oops i'm sorry and verify that the wlc is connected to the three lp uh, l lane so all the lps oops lps hello oops click on advanced and access points and I'm not seeing them. Hold on a second. Verify is connected to the three lightweight lanes, and they should be in here. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't see them. So let me say first, I'm going to click in here and they should be given an IP address and they are not given an IP address. So let me go find out what's going on. No, they are. So, so this guy got the 101, this guy got the 102 and this guy got the 103. All right. So let me wait and I'll come back. All right, let's continue. Uh, it turned out to be, I don't know what the problem, to be honest with you. Um, I moved this, just click this, moved it to port uh, gigabit one. 
and waited till it turned green. It timed out, and I hit movie login. I hit refresh, and bingo, it picked it up. Okay, you're supposed to pick up all the three um, access points, so we can actually seize it. All right, so let's continue. So um, there's really nothing you can do about it now. Well, let's uh, let's go to the wireless LAN and click on wireless LAN. All right. So when you click on it, we already created this, remember? Created the wireless LAN students. And um, if you move down here, oops, let me move this. Okay, it's enabled. It's a WPA, ESK, and uh, the security policy, and we're all good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another one. So let's create another one. Let's create, go, make sure you are on W land and click on go to create a new one. So click right here. And we're going to call it faculty, all in capital letters. All right. The SSID, right? Fa faculty space AP. Okay. And let's click on apply. Oh, God, I misspelled it. All right, let me just fix that up here, right here. Faculty, and click on Enable. All right, and um, I'm not going to add any security. You could have clicked on Security and chosen whatever you want. Let's leave, leave this as open, right? You can, you can do sec Layer 3. You can do AAA servers if you wanted to, quality of service, the whole nine yards. But we'll leave it just an open... Um, and I'll click apply. I'll go back. Um, let me double check on students. Make sure that's all good. I'll click on wireless land students. It's enabled. The SSID, I'm just going to call it students AP. So this is what's going to be advertised by the, by the access points. All right. Um, okay, so I click on apply. And I'll say, okay. All right, I'll go back. And here's my two lands. Now, these are the, the profile name, but the uh, I have not applied them to any of the access point. I'm doing this all on the wireless controller. So now I'm going to add them to the groups. So click on groups. I'm going to add them to the access point. And there's only a default group, so click on group. Add group, and let's uh, let's call this group students. Uh, students group. This is going to be uh, for the description. This is for all the students. Uh, they're going to connect. All right. So there is the students. Let's create another one. Faculty. The faculty group. Um, just well, in lowercase right faculty. All right, so now I've created two groups. Now I'm going to teach. So right after you do that, now what you're going to do, we're going to add APs to these groups. We have three APs. So I'm going to give two APs to this. It doesn't matter. You can mix them up if you wanted to. But watch. So let's add the students group. So what you need to do is go to AP groups. Okay, so we are there already. Click on students, and we're going to click on APs. We're going to get them. So if you move over, let me move this over and expand this a little bit. I want, let's do WP lap one and lap two is going to be uh, assigned. So anybody, any students on access point number zero and one, will be able to authenticate. All right, so let's click on um, Add Groups. And there you go. Now students have the two apps. Now we're going to do the same thing for faculty. So you can go back, click right here, and click on, I'm sorry, click on faculty. There you go. Click on Apps. And let's add the other access point right here, which you probably don't see. 
I don't know what the hell is wrong with my mouse. The WAP2 for the faculty, right? And um, so, one second. Click on back. Let me just make sure that I am. Um, APs. And we're supposed to. Okay, I think because I forgot to move this over and click on add. So now WPA2, I forgot to do that. Now it's added. So if you click right here, you should be able to see it right there. All right, so the faculty is added to W. AP2. All right, so once that's done, we can go back to the packet tracer. So you can close this for now. Close that. And if you click um, right, so go to the packet tracer and point the cursor on top of these guys. And they are should be. Okay, so we need to speed this up a little bit. And they are, should be connected. So no wireless, no provision in wireless LAN, none here, and none there. So the pack of the cursor of the app to verify that you have a wireless LAN. So another glitch again. So let me stop it right here and figure out why it's not doing it. We're supposed to be providing LANs for W, w app one WAP2. So if you go right here and uh, we have to go back. Here and we go 192.168.10.2. All right, I'll click on go. Okay, we're gonna do HTTPS, of course. Let's log in and we type admin and we authenticate with Cisco123. Oh, something is flaky. It's not doing it right. I don't... Oh, it's right in here. What am I doing? <laughs> All right. So um, let me minimize this for now and see if that's doing anything. Nope. Okay. I'll go in here and I need to refresh. Do a couple of refresh. Make sure that uh, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I'll click in here. All right, let me go back and see what happened. All right, so here's what I forgot. I forgot to add the two steps, D and E. So you have to go into um, the add groups and go on WLAN or I guess, what's the first one? The In this case, it's the faculty group. Click on add new. And um, I just need to move over these because I keep forgetting this. And now I'm going to faculty. It's going to be faculty app two and the SSID and just click on add, right? And we are going to go back. Let's go back in here. And I'm going to go on faculty. Did I do faculty first or students? Okay, we'll figure it out. Um, we are going to go down to okay. All right. Um, you know what? Let's stop right here and we'll finish this up with another video, but it's going to be very short. I don't want to rush this, so I know we're coming up to 15 minutes. So for now. Just submit it and um, let's um, we'll continue with this with another video.